Hey folks, my name is Nick, this is Board Game Brawl, and you probably already knew that, but you may not know this lovely face here of my beloved beagle, Bugbear, who I am coaxing on camera by giving treats, otherwise she would not be willing to sit this long with me. Uh, we are here for a very special reason today, and I hope you'll hear me out. I need to ask a favor. This is a privilege I will rarely abuse, but hopefully you'll be willing to indulge me just this one time. Over on Board Game Geek right now, there is a geek list for a charity auction being run by Jamie Stegmeier and his company, Stonemeyer Games. If you're not familiar with Jamie and Stonemeyer, they are an amazing board gaming publisher. They use Kickstarter to fund their games, and those games are awesome. They're all awesome. And the one in particular we're going to talk about today is Viticulture and its expansion, Tuscany. As part of this charity auction, you can bid on multiple copies of Viticulture and Tuscany together in a special collector's edition that is tricked out to the nines. It's very hard to get right now other than this auction. And here's the really, really cool part. Every single entry on the list is attached to a different board game reviewer or blogger or vlogger or podcaster, and including myself, I'm entry number two on the list, Board Game Brawl, and each of us was asked by Jamie to choose a charity that we love, that we appreciate, that we want to help support, and every single dollar, every penny from every one of those auctions for each of the sets of Viticulture and Tuscany Collector's Edition is going to those charities. So if you go over to that geek list, hopefully you already have a Board Game Geek account. If you don't, it's very easy to set up. Go to the geek list. I'll have a link down in the description section of the video. You can pledge on these sets of Viticulture and hopefully you will pledge on mine. I'd love to see our total for Board Game Brawl go up high and high and high because I know that you guys are amazing amazing and I know that you dig deep that you're very charitable I know this from experience and you are the best fans in the world and but overall no matter which one you choose to pledge on I am really trying and I, I hope that the entire auction as a whole blows away the previous year's total this has actually been done for a few years now it's always fun it's always great to see how much this brings in for all these different charities and it's great that it supports so many diverse charities so let me go ahead before we go any further and there is one more important bit to this equation that you're going to want to stick around for but let me talk about the charity in question and that is the beagle freedom project that's why i got bugbear with me today uh now what the beagle freedom project is many of you don't know this but Beagles are amongst the most tested on animals in laboratories around the world. In fact, of the different types of dog species that are used for testing, beagles comprise 96% of those test animals. And in fact, many types of test animals, including primates, are being phased out of testing, which is fantastic, but it means that beagles have to take up a lot of the work. And you might say, well, why beagles? Like, why beagles amongst um, all these different other types of dogs and animals? Well, ironically and tragically, it is because beagles are so awesome. The very things that make them so appealing as pets, one of the top five dogs to own in the United States, it makes them ideal for laboratory testing because they're small, because they're gentle and fragile and docile and so healthy. And a lot of these things I need to stress here, the testing that is done on these beagles is for completely frivolous and unnecessary reasons. Many of these tests are cosmetics products or um, deodorants and shampoos and things like that that are only being tested on to ref like refine them further like you, you it's completely unnecessary and these beagles are born in a lab they or they're taken from shelters and put into these labs and they, they live their entire lives cooped up in these cages uh and what the beagle freedom project does is try their best using every legal avenue available to try to get these uh beagles and also any other kind of animal free from these labs and put them into loving homes and i'm telling you i'll, I'll link below to some videos that you'll see of uh, beagles getting released for the first time out into the open feeling grass for the first time breathing fresh air for the first time it's amazing you will cry i'm tearing up just thinking about it right now and i re uh, there's a lot of other like really bad things i could probably tell you about the situation that i don't want to bum you out but needless to say this is a charity that is near and dear to my heart because bugbear over here who has decided to slink off camera uh she is just precious to me and also her sister honeybee who some people have seen on the channel before too so I definitely want to raise as much money as I possibly can for the Beagle Freedom Project, and you can help me do that through this Geek List charity auction. Now, here's the other important bit to this equation. If you thumb the Geek List, now uh, if you're not familiar with Board Game Geek, you can thumb up different comment threads, and you can thumb up the different entries on the charity auction. The most 
thumbed geek list entry for the auction, the reviewer or podcaster uh, that is attached to that entry is going to get an advanced copy of Scythe, the mega popular Kickstarter game that was uh, kickstarted by Stonemaier Games just a couple of months ago. Here is the thing. As amazing as that is, and I can't wait to get an advanced review copy, hopefully, of that game, I already backed Scythe on Kickstarter. I don't need a second copy. I want to pass that copy along to you. I want to hold a contest if I can get this scenario done and actually get a copy of the game in hands, and I want to give it to one of you. That would be fantastic because I really want to show my appreciation for everything you guys have done for the channel, especially supporting this charity. So here's what you need to do. Let's recap everything. Go to Board Game Geek. Go to the Geek List. I'll put a link down in the description section. Check out the auction. Pledge. Dig deep if you can. I know it's the holiday season and money is tight, but if you can give anything at all, that would be fantastic. And please, if you can't even do that, just at least thumb that entry so that we can not only bring more attention to the list, which is the most important thing, but also just to make sure that we might have a shot at having a really cool contest here in the channel to help one of you have a really cool potential Christmas next year, hopefully, when the game comes out. So... Thank you so much for your time. I know this was a bit long-winded, but I love talking about the Beagle Freedom Project. I love talking about Beagles in general, and I just want to make sure that this whole charity auction is a tremendous success. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Happy holidays.